hello and welcome so in this video i just want to go through uh this new track called speechless which i'm in the middle of mixing and i just want to go through the process of uh just balancing the kick and the uh, bass so here we go so the first thing i like to do is uh this is this is a little trick that i've learned from graham cochran at uh, uh recordingrevolution.com so in effect i'm just bringing that kick up to around about minus 3 db so I just, with this uh, Kleinhelm uh, uh, VU meter, I can just adjust, adjust the gain, which is really great. So I want to get it to near and near about, it's minus 3 dB. And the idea being is, um, when you begin to look at the uh, bass, and bring the bass guitar in, the bass guitar should add the extra 3 dB and bring that up to around about zero. So that's what I'm looking for. So bring the bass in. And actually I've done this beforehand. I've got this generally balanced okay. Let's just force hold. So you can see that with the kick and the bass, I'm hitting zero dB and that's what I want. So when you're happy, you can bring, uh, I can adjust this VU meter back to zero. There you go. Okay, so let's take a look at this bass track. So you can see I've got three bass tracks. And I want to just bring focus to each track. So the so with the first one, basically I'm doing a low pass filter up to about 200 hertz. I've also put a B15 amp on this. And I like this preset solid groove, although I do address the treble because I don't want to actually boost the treble. So I want really the treble and the bass to be flat on this. And I can make some little adjustments as I go along. Okay, so let's just adjust this treble. Okay, on the second bass track, which is du duplicated, I've got a high pass filter now up to about 200 hertz. And on this one, I'm adding a bit of a boost around about somewhere between three and eight hundred. That will just mean that the bass will cut through on on small speakers. I've found, and just to kind of get the finger fingers, um, you know, hear the kind of fingers on the fretboard. Uh, there's been a little bit of a boost around about five k. And on the third track, again, this really helps to cut through small speakers. I've got I'm using Stephen Slate's. Uh, I think it's called kilohertz, the uh, the amp sim, but I've got a sans amp on this. Okay, so why don't we have a listen? And I can make some subtle adjustments as I go along. Okay, let's have a look at compression. Okay, so I'm going to an outboard uh, DBX160A. I've got uh, plug-in DBX160 and also this LA2A. Okay, so uh, these compressors are on the bass bus. And uh, I'm looking for about minus 3 dB, or around about that, uh, gain reduction between the three compressors. Just making a slight adjustment to that DBX 160. I don't want that much gain reduction. So in theory, I haven't got one compressor doing all the work. I've spread that across three compressors. Okay, so in addition to that, I'm sending those base parts out to a parallel compressor. I've been experimenting with this Fatso compressor for all my parallel compression, so uh, let's see what it does on the bass. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's look at the kick. So I'm using addictive drums for my drum uh, tracks. And I've got a little bit of compression, just touching it. A heavy boost of 50 hertz. And then some boost around about 4.5k 4, 4 and also at 5k. So this kick may also go out to an outboard compressor, but at the moment I'm sending it to this Fatso parallel compressor. So let's just have a quick listen at the drums and percussion and also the bass. And this is where I am at the minute. So still a little bit more to go, but uh, this is my starting point. Okay, so it's still early days in the mix, but uh, my template set up with uh, reverbs for the drums. I do tend to like to use Stephen Slate's reverbs, and I tend to like this FG480, so that's what I tend to use. But there's still a long way to go in the mix before I really start uh, playing about with reverbs yet. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed that uh, video. This is just the start of me uh, beginning to mix this particular track. Please don't forget to subscribe and also give us a like. That would be really helpful because there's more content coming all the time. Keep safe and well and bye for now.